I think we are live. Welcome everybody, Maniac here with GameAccess.net. Welcome to my Twitch stream. This is live right now. Um, post E3, we, E3 is just wrapping up today and there was a lot of stuff that was shown and a lot of stuff that was released for the general public. Including this, the d demo, the official demo, single player, of the first level of Doom. Doom 4, if you will. I consider this Doom 4, but it's, for you guys, Doom. I got my Doom 3 shirt on, which is backwards in this broadcast. I have no idea why. Flips the negative on those, I guess. And, um... While we wait for the room to populate up, I guess I could talk a little bit about why I chose to stream this and what's going on and, and stuff like that, basically. I'm pretty certain that I'm not going to have censorship bar on the lower portion of the screen for the chat log, so I'm leaving the chat log up. That's a return. It's nice to see the chat log back and not censored, so welcome chat log. And uh, we will be commenting on that stuff if people join the stream. I've been told that there are people wanting me to stream this. So my subscribers and stuff like that may be coming in and, and saying hello. So I, I wanted to make sure that I could see their... their... Hey, David! <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. I was just saying that I was waiting for my, 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 my subscribers to come in. And I, I wanted to have the chat log up. And here you are. So perfect. Uh, hopefully you're, you're not alone. But if you are, that's fine. Uh, I will continue to respond. There's a reason, there's a couple reasons why I wanted to stream this first. First, this is a bit of a back to basics for Maniac. I don't like, I haven't usually, when I first started doing my Let's Plays and stuff like that, I would usually show just a demo of the game. I would usually just do a Let's Play of that. Or if there was no demo, I would usually just, you know, do the first level or the first act or something like that. There's a reason for that. I didn't want to spoil the game. You know, but I found out recently that there are going to be two, there were two demos that were released this week for E3. This was one of them, and the other one is, of course, the Resident Evil 7 demo. And those are restricted. This demo is only going to be available for, for this week. I don't know if it's going to continue to function if you've already downloaded it, but this is being taken off the PlayStation Store and Xbox Live and Steam after this week is off. If you haven't downloaded it, um, you won't be able to after this week is up. So if you want it, get it now. I mean, obviously, if you have the full version, you don't need it, but that's important. For the Resident Evil 7 demo, that's PS4 only, and that's PlayStation Plus only. So we're going to be streaming that. I have had requests to stream that. We will be streaming that and probably next. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that today or stream it or stream it tomorrow. We'll see what's going on with the chat when everybody thinks about it. But for right now, it's going to be Doom first, and then Resident Evil 7 next. And then I'm planning on having a Halo Wars 2 video, but it's not going to be a stream. It's going to be something different. Uh, it will be a Halo Wars 2 video, but it won't be a stream. So, um, let's get started. This is my first time playing the demo, and um, I have not played the full version of Doom. I only played the beta, and that was the multiplayer version. All right, let's check the settings just really quick. Yeah, that's fine. Enable HUD. Combat rating tutorials are on. Update notifications. All right, that's on. Boss health bar is on. You can turn all that stuff off. That's pretty good customization. You can tell this game was made by id. Um, oh, here we go. Subtitles. Always when I do a stream when I'm going to be talking to you guys, I always make sure to put the subtitles on. That's just good manners. If I'm if I don't prefer, I don't like having subtitles on when I'm playing a game by myself or if I do a let's play where there's no video commentary, or audio commentary, I will um I won't have the subtitles on, but since I'm talking during this stream, um it's good manners I think to have the subtitles on. So, no, I haven't played this before. This will be the first time I've played it. Let's see if we can get it working. The last Doom game I played was Doom 3. I enjoyed it. I am a huge fan of id Software. I've been playing id Software games ever since the original Quake shareware was released on the internet. I played it on a 1996 PC. I was one of the first... Yeah. Yeah, Resident Evil 7 is PlayStation Plus exclusive. We'll probably try to stream that later. So you walk eternally through Shadow Realms, standing against evil where others falter. May your... Thirst for retribution never quench. May the blood on your sword never dry. 
and may we never need you again. Korax entry 717. Very, very interesting, very exciting. Um, Doom 3 was a bit of a reboot for the series, even though it was called Doom 3. I don't know what to expect here. If this is a sequel to Doom 3, if this is another reboot, I don't know. Let's find out. Brutal, without mercy, but you. Rip and tear until it is done. Rip and tear! Rip and tear! Mm. Oh my! I'm having Quake 4 flashbacks right now. I guess the demons are into bondage here. Hey, Kishar, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Performance is fantastic on the PS4. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I got my little dinky pistol rounds. Wow, performance is amazing. I'm still getting used to the controls. I might need to make the thumbstick a little bit more sensitive right here. Hold on a second. My controller is not very sensitive right now. And my PS4 is starting to turn into a vacuum fluid. That's a bit better. Yeah, I like that better. Oh, that's cool. This is cool. So this is how the game starts. It starts right with the action. Hey, Shishabel! We Welcome! So, is on an altar being worked on by demons. Better than most of my Friday nights, I'll admit. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so the demo will continue to work after it's removed. So, yeah, get it now, definitely. This looks like my armor. Because, of course, it is my armor. Can you tell? <laughs> I recognize this armor. Demonic Invasion in Progress. Status report. Oh, that's cool. That's cool detail. That's really cool detail. Let's see if I can pull up a status. Can I pull up a status report? No, I can't. These aren't interactive right now. Maybe I have to put the armor on. Alright. Let's put on the armor. Doom guy. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's just looking great. So it looks like the invasion of hell has already happened. This is awesome. This is kind of making me feel a bit like... This is like Half-Life 1, but without, you know, the, you know, some of the opening. Satellite dish array is offline. So it looks like I might have to turn on the satellite dish. A little bit of Quake 2. Kind of makes me feel a little bit like Quake 2. Well, I can imagine that the cause of the demon invasion was probably some... Yeah. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. Well, I we can like I said, I haven't picked this game up yet, Kajar. I'm not saying if it interests me or not. Um, I, I, the game has been delayed so much that my, you know, my interest in id, I didn't like Rage, for example, or I, I you know, I kind of felt like, I kind of felt like Rage was just too, too little, too late. You know, I thought Borderlands had already come out and they've probably done a better job, but glory kills. All right. Oh, that's cool. Still getting used to this pistol. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's rip him up, boys! Rip and tear! Rip and tear! Nice! And I get some goodies, that's nice. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess I really had to see the game for myself. Another weapon. Is this shotgun? Assault right? Yeah, it looks like a shotgun. Oh yeah, you go pistol, shotgun. That's exactly how you do it. Rest of you, combat shotgun. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see, can I open it up? 
Okay, I'll just pull it open. I did enjoy E3 quite a bit, actually. Thank you for asking. Um, I, I thought that they did... Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of felt like this... I, I wanted to wait. You know, I wanted to wait on this. I wanted to see for the reviews. Right now, my experience is positive. I did like what I saw Resident Evil 7. I like that they're getting a VR version. I haven't played it yet. I'll play that later. In fact, I may play it later today if you guys want me to. But, uh, yes, I was very happy with all the promises that we were given for all the stuff that we were shown. I wish Sony had shown a new console, uh, like the Neo or something, but, you know, that didn't happen. I wish we had seen something of it. Oh boy, what's that gonna do? Yes, uh, yeah, the, 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 the Halo Wars 2 beta, trying to get into that was a exercise in frustration, but not impossible. I was able to, to get myself, uh, uh, get into it. Ironically enough, I got, I actually, what got, what got me access was my, uh, was the smart, uh, the smart glass application. Oh, boy. Come on, give me some help, man. Give me some help. Is Imps, I think? These are the new version of Imps. They're moving pretty fast. These guys move really fast, actually. Alright. That works. More Imps. I like the look of the Imps. I think I prefer the Doom 3 versions better, but... I mean, the action is fast. I did get into the Doom 3... I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the, the Halo Wars uh, 2 beta. I was able to get it to get my to finally get into it, and um, I, I I'll, I'll save my opinion about it for a, for a later video. Oh boy, more! They just keep spawning these guys. Yeah, this is very much having like a Quake Two fe uh, feel. Um, did you try the new version, David? They released a patch this morning or something. Or yesterday. He cannot be allowed to leave this place. He will ruin everything. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 oh my. hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now. Yeah, thank you! <laughs> but it was worth the risk. I assure you. No, it was not worth the risk. And Bethesda, it's software. Doom. Very nice. Very nice. Rip and tear! Oh, we're going outside. Cool. Okay, so there is an auto map. Not a fan of multiplayer uh, real-time strategy games. Always a person who knows the game inside. Yeah, that's happening in the beta, too. I actually had at least two games in the beta that I played. I, I played five, five, uh, I played five uh, games of beta right now. In fact, if you do get into the beta, I would recommend playing at least five games because... It will get you uh, some uh, Halo 5 uh, goodies, some uh, rec packs for Halo 5. Okay, I'm trying to find out where the heck I'm supposed to go without falling to my, my death, or I guess I have no control over that. And uh, at least the first game I played, I had absolutely no impact whatsoever. My partner was the one who pretty much won the entire game single-handedly. I thought that was kind of both funny and tragic at the same time. Well, there's no ammo. There's, there's some... What do you call it? Packs here. There's some armor, but there's no ammo, so we'll have to move on. Yeah, I I, I have a lot of practice. Thank you, Shishibel. You flatter me. But yes, I do have a lot of practice, actually, with uh, strafing and aiming and stuff. <laughs> so thank you. This is this is what I grew up on. I mean, I was a I was a PC player. I I, I grew up on uh, PC first-person shooters like Doom and Quake, particularly, but. 
yeah, I was really excited to hear that a new Quake game is coming for the PC. I'll probably have to upgrade my PC to play it or, or build a new one. I think these graphics look amazing. I think they're I think they're phenomenal. I'm very happy with them. Looks like I'm dropping down because there's no other way down. Let's rip and tear here. Nice. Who's this guy? It's a new guy. New guy. him out. Nice. Yeah, in case you're curious why I'm being so obsessed with ripping and tearing, ripping and tearing when applicable, it's because health doesn't regenerate in this game. So, I kind of have to... Wow, and these imps take out a lot of... Yeah. Their fireballs take up a lot of damage. I don't even know what's, what's shooting at me right now. Alright, let's help heal up a bit. Help. Give me some help. Alright, that's something. Right, give me some help here. Sorry I'm not saying much right now. I'm kind of concentrating on what's firing at me. Just seems like it just keeps throwing stuff at me. Oh, that worked. Exploded a barrel at him. Alright, give me some help. Nothing, really. Where's the weapon wheel on this thing? Oh, I'm trying to find the weapon wheel. There it is. Oh, that's good. I think the graphics look amazing. I'm very impressed with the engine. Um, this game had been so delayed, though. That's kind of another reason why I held off on on, on, on on buying it immediately. I guess you could say I needed a demo like this to really tell me how the game was going to run. Yes, I am still planning on playing Gone Home. Um, I'll probably... I, I do already have a, uh, a, a Let's Play I did with a friend of mine that um, we, we kind of played through the first half of it. I'm, I feel like since he's not here, I don't wish for... I don't know. Maybe I will once I start getting really killed a lot. But, you know, ammo is plentiful. I can get health and ammo from guys, so... All right, let's see. I need a blue key card! Oh! The people who made this game really love the original Doom, which is good. You can tell the people who made this game really love Doom. I need a blue key card. That's great. That's great. Okay, got a little Jurassic Park gate here. Very nice. There's a blue key card over here. Maybe he's got it? Yes, he does. So if I do play Gone Home, it'll probably be either later in the week or next week. And um, I'll probably play from the beginning. I'll probably restart it from the beginning. Um, just because my, my friend hasn't had the time to finish playing it. Oh, it's automatic. Very nice. Frag grenade. Very cool. Use L1 to fire a grenade. Okay. Wish I had gotten some grenades earlier. Let's try it out. Hey, it works. Very nice. Well, I'm glad. I'm looking forward to having everybody come for that, and you guys can expect that coming soon. Depending upon the length of this demo, I may switch over to play Resident Evil. I, like I said, I have a demand. Uh, there was a, I mean, I was planning on, on streaming Resident Evil 7 as well as this, but on, uh, on, on Twitter, I specifically, somebody actually asked me, and nobody ever contacts me on Twitter to say, you know, we, at least not, you know, nobody on my friends list, I mean. Let me phrase this. My, my friends will contact me on Twitter, yes. But um, very rarely do I get somebody out of the blue to contact me on Twitter to, to give a request. So that was a very nice surprise. So for you know for, for as a thanks to him and, and all of you guys, I will be doing Resident Evil 7 next. But um, yes, going home will probably be next week. That's cool. That's cool. Probably I should have used a grenade. 
I kind of like ripping these guys apart. I love this shotgun. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fighting. This is for fun. This is my boomstick. <laughs> Paint the walls red. Paint the walls red. Oh, it's really nice. No reloading either. That's nice. It's a bit of a refresher. Movement is fast. Fluid. It's making my PS4 sound like a vacuum cleaner right now. It's actually really weird. I'm not used to not reloading every time I play. Or every firefight or something. <laughs> Decent length demo for the first level. Maybe that's why they held off. It's not the it's not the longest demo by any means that I played. I know there are a lot of. I haven't played it all. I can't comment. My friend doesn't like it, but from what I've played of Gone Home, I seem to enjoy it quite a bit. It also has a hell of a cult following. It's a very popular game, especially amongst Let's Players. I heard. Most of it was, you know, Let's Plays on the PC and Let's Plays on the Mac. The version I'll be playing will probably be the PS4 version. Okay, got some health. I can't go in here. But yeah, I have been waiting for this Doom game to come out since it was first announced at QuakeCon. I think it was announced at QuakeCon 2008 or so. Do I have to climb up, maybe? Check up there. All right, all right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Definitely can use some health right now, but we're good right now. A secret lever? Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm flattered, Shishi Bell. Um, I have not, I play, I'm, I'm going to play the first half, I've already played the first, I, I'm going to play the whole thing, i played the first half, but I don't know what the ending is. My friend who played it knew the ending. Is this it? Is this a secret lever? Explosive shot. Very nice. Oh boy. Oh, the room earlier. Okay. try grenade because I have low health right now. The lever was right by the room I couldn't open. Okay, I'll go back. I think I see what you're trying to tell me. There's a room over here. This is the door I couldn't open. Is this the door you're talking about, David? I don't see a lever, though. Alright, where's the lever? I don't see one. after me, but that's okay. Still looking for the lever, David. I don't see it. Maybe they took it out for the demo? Alright, let's go clear off those guys. 
It might have been taken out for the demo. That kind of thing happens. So yeah, back to my, uh... Oh, What's it look like? Because I couldn't see it. Alright, we got a checkpoint. Is it up here? Is the lever up here or something? Where is it? Oh, this is cool. This is nice. Codex entry. Okay, that's something. Got some health, got some shields. That's nice. Alright, I don't want to waste the stream too much. We'll just move on right now. I'll uh, I'll, try, I'll look into it later. Alright, moving on. I guess the drone's not going to follow me. Sea of Thieves looked very good. That was rare. Um, let's see, what else? What else interested me? What really interested me? Ah... I was two feet from the lever, it's in the curved fence area. Okay. Well, at a, as we as we look for this lever, I'll uh, tell you what's what, what I was really interested in. Um, there are a couple of games I was really interested in from E3 this year. Halo Wars, obviously, being one of them, but I was interested in that pre E3. I really did like the Detroit uh, demo. Um, uh, the, there was a demo at E3 that they previewed on PlayStation Underground uh, during I think it was yesterday's uh, PlayStation Livecast. Um, I really liked that demo a lot. Um, I thought it was very interesting, very Blade. I mean, I love Blade Runner. I think it's like what, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, so yeah, okay. So this is is this the oh here? This is the is this the curve fence area? We got it! We got it! <laughs> yes! We got it! All right, let's see what's in this door. Oh. My. God. This reminds me of my freshman year at college. This is my freshman year at college all over again. I remember when they announced uh, Doom 3 was coming. And they had that great E3 showing in 2002. I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play through the Doom shareware, and I'm going to beat the Doom shareware, the original Doom shareware. And I did. I did. I did beat it on my Windows XP system. That was awesome. Okay, that was well worth it. That was definitely well worth it. Okay, back to the game. Back to the game. That was well worth it, David. Thank you. That was awesome. I have since uh, beaten uh, the three the three acts of all three acts of Doom, not including the fourth act. Well, thank you, David, for pointing me in that direction. We we it took a while, but we found it. That was worth the ten minutes looking for it. Let's throw a grenade. Get some high ground here. 
me tell you, these imps know how to climb. They also know how to dodge bullets pretty well. Come on, give me some help. Alright, I'll take it. Not very much, but I'll take it. I think I see some... I'm out of grenades. I don't have any more grenades. Okay, moving on. Nice. These imps, let me tell you, these fireballs really hurt. I think that's it. Is that everybody? No, I guess not. Somebody whacked me. I didn't see him. Somebody else here? Let me tell you though, this is making my PS4 sound like a vacuum cleaner. Give me some ammo, something. Back at him? Yeah. They hurt him. I didn't want to use too many shotgun rounds. I only got two left. And I have to go back to that useless pistol. Let's see if there's anything down here. This'll work. Now I have uh, bullets. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I miss zombies, though. Oh, I go this way? Oh, I guess they all connect to the same area. Looks like there might be a secret over here. Hold on. And I'm dead. Sorry! I was trying to get that secret. Sorry about that. I might be going back a while. Sorry. Standing still is death. Stay on the move as much as possible. Thank you for that, computer. Very obvious. Glory kills can be performed from a variety of angles, including from above. That is also true. Alright, I'm back here. Don't exactly know where here. Oh, I know where I am. Alright, we're back a little bit, guys. That was because I got a little cocky. Sorry about that. Oh, here it is. Here's the secret. Doom doll! I got a pop figure. Although that is not my favorite pop figure. I know pop is selling some of these guys. Um, speedy recovery. That works. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, I got something over here. I saw a guy run over here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Sorry I'm constantly moving around. Well, I had heard stories about, you know, at first this was going to be like a... Like Doom 4, like a like a sequel to Doom, like the, the it was basically going to be a direct sequel to Doom 3, and then I had heard that it gotten shut off, and you know, because basically when you think about it, I'm gonna, I, I don't mean to spoil anything, but basically Doom 3, which is the previous Doom game that was released, was basically a complete retelling of Doom 1, just in a different type of style, basically. Originally, Doom 4, from what I had heard and from the scre and screenshots that leaked seemed to confirm this, Doom 4 was originally going to be a remake of Doom 2, which was going to be Demons on Earth. 
I mean, that was the plan originally. And then, you know, all pretty much what had happened was was that all 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 most of its focus all went into rage and developing the rage engine. And what happened after that was was that rage came out, Bethesda bought them. And I think that, you know, at some point Doom might have got this this you know, this game got some kind of project reset or something. Which is, but but the, the thing is, is that even though the project itself was reset, the engine did need to be. The engine was still top of the line, because it is. I mean, this is still one of the, probably one of the best looking game engines that have ever been developed. I mean, this thing is running a solid 60 frames and it looks fantastic. So, and I heard Xbox One uh, performance is comparable. Let's go. Uh, hold on, I gotta go get some ammo over here. Okay, there we go. Got ammo now. Let's move on, shall we? You guys can keep your comments coming. Granted, most of my opinion is just personal speculation about why this game took so long. Oh, that hurt. That was cheap. That hurt. This is not a real Engine 4, McKeevers. Do you want to know what this is? This is basically... This is the Doom Engine. This is... This is... This is Tech 6, I think, right now. This is an all-new engine designed specifically for Bethesda's... Uh, it was written by id Software, but this is Bethesda's, this is from Bethesda. This is only Bethesda will use this engine. They have no interest in, in licensing it. Oh, great. That give me something at least? Not something. At least, you know, after a while, I gotta admit this, horde after horde of enemies, fair enough. If you if you don't think that the monsters look like Doom monsters, I personally I'm gonna miss the zombies. I don't feel like there's zombies here. They kind of look a bit like imps. I mean the soldiers look like you know look right. I I, I can I, I can understand that. But then again, we haven't seen like the pinkies, for example. We haven't seen the mancubus yet. You know we we haven't seen the Baron of Hell, who I heard is is gonna be in the game. So. Let's give it some time. Okay, I'm going, now I'm going back the way I came. I guess I gotta go up here now. Fine. Let's see, I gotta go up here too. All right, here's a shield. That works. All right, should I go up here or should I go? All right. But yeah, this is this is the id Tech um, engine. This is not, you know, this is not a. Uh, this is an update of the engine that powered Rage. This is an update of the engine that powered Doom Three, that was then later ported to, um, with with or upgraded for Quake Wars. This is that engine brought to its illustrious, you know, gloriousness. For all I know, this engine could power the next Fallout game. It legally could. Welcome to okay. the UAC. Now 221 accident free days. Yeah, it's uh you're gonna have to reset the clock on that one, guys. Is that it? What a demo! What a demo! A little anticlimactic ending, uh, but then again, this is just the first level, so...